Oh, no, like here. And today we have another epic video. But first, I want to ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for more insane Yu Gi Oh videos, and please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy the content. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are all safe right now. This is another quarantine video, so we're doing it from the house. And uh, today's video is going to be pretty cool, though. So we not only have a Walmart challenge today, but we are opening up some of the oldest mystery product that Walmart has ever made. This is the Yu Gi Oh! Cube. This is the original Yu-Gi-Oh cube and uh, we have two other versions of the cube here today So it's a pretty cool mystery product. This original one came with the deck two rares and two Yu-Gi-Oh booster packs and 40 sleeves um, They realized they could probably sell it a little better if they had six booster packs three full cards and one storage cube um, This one has 11 booster packs, but it's known for having the infamous battle pack inside so uh, yes, but very cool video. I'm excited for this one. This is technically, your average value of the cubes will be about a $15 value. So this is technically like a $60 um, challenge today. I don't know if we can pass that uh, by thinking of what's inside these cubes, but there is some super awesome special packs inside that hopefully we can get something out of. Um, today's video will have the price counter, so be ready for that, you guys. And also, if you guys wanna support Simple and Lucky, we have the beautiful, the infamous, the dark magician girl, the magician girl playmat. Uh, definitely one of my favorites, and if uh, you guys want to support Simple Lucky, that is the way to do it. Check out the playmats. Uh, we have more coming out soon from Secret Slayers. Uh, maybe we could do a video at the shop once we get some of those in. Um, but very excited for that, you guys. Also, the singles, if you guys want to check out the link for TCG Player, if you guys are interested in any singles, of course, the website has them as well. We have updated our singles inventory. All right, guys, we're going to start with this classic cube here. I, I don't even know if it's, it might even be over five years old, so... Let's check it out. First cube, here we go. Oh, open a little more there. Nice. All right, so let's see what our foil cards are inside. We have a Cyber Angel Natasha. Nice. We have Subterra Cave Clash. Very cool card there. So two super rare cards. I was thinking it might be rares. Uh, we have 70 Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves. This is actually tournament sleeves that Konami has made, so you can use these in the tournament. Um, pretty cool. 70. Yeah, that's beautiful magician girls. Very nice. Uh, sadly, though, it looks like our packs are Pendulum Evolution booster packs, and we're just going to pop those open real quick and see what we get. This is, for me, I'm always going to want to get the Dragon's Mirror card to get out our Five God Dragon. Uh, let's see what happens, though. Metal Foes, Oracle of Zephra, and then Pendulum Call. Pendulum Call is going to be one of the more valuable cards in this set, especially as a super rare. I think it's a searcher for Magician Pendulums. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, we got the Star Pendulum Graph, Double Iris, Enlightenment, Zephraxi. Nice Divine Strike. All right, we'll go ahead and set these cards to the side here. And then, of course, Interestingly enough, a structure deck, um, open structure deck inside here, they probably opened them because they were left over originally and they wanted to fit it into the cube. Um, but it is a DDD structure deck and DDD cards actually making a comeback with the new master rule format. So let's take a quick look inside to see what we got. Um, and then of course, Rick will help us out with any prices of some of these cards. We've got the Beowulf, the Apocalypse, Orthos, Lamia, First King Siegfried. If you guys can put in the comments below, I was always interested, what is the story behind the DDDs um, in comparison to the DD cards or the different dimension cards and where these guys all kind of came from and if it's a certain like take on different archetypes, but calling them DDD. That's Siegfried right there. And uh, Savage Newton, some Savage, Doom King Arm again again, Cerberus, Lilith, uh, Night Howl, uh, Galilei, Kepler, Oblivion King Ragnarok, that guy always looks cool. King Kaiser, man, it's really just D D D D D D all over the place here. The proud man, dark arm dragons in here, cool, and dark refer. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Armageddon Knights, I think he's now limited to one, something like that. Trance Archfiend, Curry Bandit, the Street Patrol, uh, Stage of Security. Got a dark contract for some of your different D D fusions, D D monsters. Okay, so a lot of them have some contracts. Got a Forbidden Dark contract there again. Foolish Burial, nice. One for one and a Lure of Darkness right here? That I was not ready for, okay. So one for one probably holds some value from here, a Lure. 
And I just kind of wanted to check this out with you guys because it was pretty cool, Wave King season. So I'm gonna set aside the uh, lure one for one because I know for sure those hold some value. Uh, but very cool deck there. Nice to see inside of a random cube. All right, next we're gonna do the big cube. Let's see what's inside here. Are right, the cards guide us? Magician girls, just that luck. Let's see if we get something awesome. I feel like from our cubes, we don't, I don't know if we pulled something truly epic. So we got our packs here. Mostly gonna be battle pack. If we're gonna get anything from these battle packs, it used to be Diagusto Emerald. Oh, we got one Order of Chaos pack. We got one Star pack and one Secrets of Eternity first edition. So lots of possibilities inside of there from those XCs or uh, Zexel. Is that Zexel? No, that's gonna be Pendulum Era. I think Pendulum had Ghost Rare Ultimate Rare. So we're gonna go quickly through our battle packs here. Gonna have quite a few of these. Night and day graph. We got an enemy controller. The idea with the battle packs, too, guys, was to be able to grab some packs and just duke it out with your Quacky Mero Sandman, negating those trap cards. Um, just came out super rare in Secrets of um, Secret Slayers. There we go. <laughs> Secrets of Eternity is right there. Um, but yes, the idea of the battle packs was to be able to just pick up some packs, build a quick deck out of your packs, and just duke it out against your opponents. Kind of like a sealed play format. The issue was, it wasn't as popular as Konami hoped it to be, probably taking some influence from Magic the Gathering and their sealed play. Alright, rush recklessly, here we go. Uh, Unbreakable Spirit, by the way there is a shatter foil in here, you're not really going to be able to see it with this lighting, but we're doing our best. Um, this picture though, it's kind of like a kaiju picture, but it's funny because you don't really see Yu-Gi-Oh cards getting this kind of picture, talking about Magic the Gathering. This is definitely looks like more of a Magic the Gathering picture than a... Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh type picture. Interesting. And of course, our price counter will grab anything that you guys see here that could be worth something. Fighting Spirit, Silent Psychic Wizard, Premature Burial. Got a couple more packs. See if we can get something. Metal Morph. That's pretty cool. Sacred Crane, Machine King Prototype. Nice to see some of those cards. This is a star pack. I was going to say maybe uh, some Utopia cards is what we're looking for out of here. Monster slots, Earth Armor, this is going to be Star Foil. Only three packs inside. The idea was that I think the monster, the battle packs were going to be a $2 pack, uh, MSRP, maybe $1.50, um, but $2, I think, and then the Star packs were at $1 MSRP. Hey, Giant Soldier of Steel, two level three rocks. Very cool. Spellbook of Wisdom. Okay. Next, we have two boosters here Order of Chaos inside of this. You got some epic cards. Hopefully pulling a foil. Here we go. Danny Pond. Uh, primordial, primordial Soup. That's pretty cool. Evil Tiles. Counter Force. Weights and Zen Majors. Divine Dragon Apocryph. Apocryph. Pretty cool card there. Uh, discarding cards then targeting dragons in your grave. Adding the hand. Sweet Corn. Galaxy Wave. <laughs> All right. And Secrets of Eternity. Come on, Walmart. Raid Raptor. Soup. Have you seen Ryo Senju's Perform Pals? Infernoids. And nice, we got an Ultra Rare. We got an Apoclefort Sky Base. Pretty cool. The Infernoids were in here. Nice. And that was a first edition pack. So, Echo Oscillation, Raid Raptors, and a Go Go Go. All right, we got a Ultra Rare card. Not doing bad so far. Again, we had our structured deck that probably hold a decent amount of value. Let's see if we get something from our boxes over here. All right, guess our other cubes. This is the six booster pack cube, probably the most popular version of the cube that Walmart's ever made. Um, slash, was it Fairfield Company? Uh, but yes, one of the more popular Walmart cubes here. Now this, I'm hoping to get some epic cards for you guys. Yes, Cross Souls is inside. First edition, we've seen it before, and we're seeing it again. Um, some foil cards inside, sometimes it can get crazy. I feel like we got a solemn something at one point. Not this time, though. All right, you guys, as I was saying, this is the Cross Souls first edition booster pack. Um, very cool how you have this inside. A lot of valuable, potentially valuable cards in there. Then you have a Number Hunters. Ooh, Clash of Rebellions first edition. What? That's nice. I did not expect that at all. Um, number Hunters. One Shadow Spectres first edition. You guys, both three, all three of these first edition, and all five of them first in two Secrets of Eternity. That's actually pretty cool. As a $15 to $20 cube, you guys, these cross souls, you know, you could at least 
at least four dollar booster packs here so it's nice to see at least twenty dollars in value um so that's pretty exciting hopefully we can get some awesome cards let's do this we're gonna start with Seeks of Eternity just because we kind of got the uh, Sky Base going right there. Got a Zen Mayday, uh, Inferno APD, last minute cancel. We got the Kokimero Overload, nice. All right, you guys, epic Kokimero Overload there. Like I was saying, it's fun to pull different Kokimeros from the new set, Secret Slayers. I really like that. Okay, next we're gonna open up. Let's move to Shadow Specters. Guys, if we can actually get a Ghost Rare or anything Ultimate, that would be really nice because it's not the easiest thing to do from these rando packs. But they are all first edition, so here we go. Chain Ignition, got the Secret Druid, Baby Raccoons, Gigantic Castle, and nice, Marina, the Princess of Sunflowers, another card reprinted in Secret Slayers. That's crazy. Uh, very cool. All right, Ghost Tricks, Pump Princess, uh, one of the better cards a while for a while there, and uh, that's uh, Dueling. All right, so getting the different Secret Slayers cards. Next, we're gonna move into a Number Hunters booster pack. And so let's see what we can get. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we got the Coach Lord Ultimate Trainer, Battle Warrior, the Mech Equipped, Go Go Giant, and Gimmick Puppet. I'm not so sure. Is that supposed to be a secret rare? That's a really a faded secret rare. You barely can see that. All right, um, I feel like I want to save Clash Rebellion for last. We're going across holes. Oh, don't steal this pack. Okay, Secrets Attorney again. We got an ultra rare so far. That's the best we've done. Let's see what happens. Raid Raptors, Zen Mayday, you'll send you. Last minute cancel, Dragons, and Go 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 Talisman with uh, the Turtle and Infernoid. All right, final two packs for this cube. You guys believe in the heart of the cards? Cross hole. Can we pull, I believe the Medulce card's in here. That's absolute insanity. So let's see if we can make it happen. Super Heavy Samurai, Fluffle Sheep. Super Heavy Samurai once again, Yosenju. Yosenju, Fright Fur Factory. The Doom Dog, I always like the Doom Dog. Um, Abyss Stingray, and another Super Heavy Samurai. All right, you guys, this is the last pack of Destiny for this cube. We still have one cube left. Uh, pulling the Clash of Rebellions pack is a bit unexpected. We have not seen that too many times in these cubes. See if something epic can happen. Another super heavy rank up magics, performing pals, the backup rider, Cosmo Slip Rider. Oh man, extinction on schedule. Cool looking card. I always like the picture on that one. Um, Opera of the Melodious Diva, and ooh, Waterfront. Actually, pretty cool for those uh, different kaiju decks. And Balance of a Judgment. But check a take a look at that Cosmo Slip Rider. Very nice. Actually, got a Cosmo card. It's been a while. All right, next cube. This is it, guys. This is the final cube of destiny that I'm gonna find where we slashed it. There we go. Gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Make this happen. This is the quarantine. This is where dreams become dreams. Um, our supers inside slash foils. Another Sandman. Oh, that's hilarious. I like justice over there. All right. This time, oh my gosh, the packs have changed. All right, we got Shadow Specters, two secrets again. High Speed Riders, nice. There's actually some real value in there. Uh, number Hunters again, and then Cross Souls, okay. Well, we're not actually pulling anything, but we are getting some epic packs, so hopefully we'll make something happen this time. Secrets of Eternity, here we go. First edition, can we get a secret, ultra, ultimate, Blaze Accelerator Reload, Dodo -do Witch, Illusion Balloons, Super Heavy Samurai, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh! What? Ultimate Rare Infernoids! Oh, baby, you guys. Here we go. So this is beautiful card here. Unexpected Ultimate Pool. I don't know the value off the top of my head for this card, uh, but I know it's definitely nice to see an Ultimate Rare. Very cool, you guys. And so I, you can barely tell with the lighting right now, but that is very nice to see. Wow, Infernoid. Oh, Nunky Goo. <laughs> All right, Ultimate Rare, just talking about it. Just talking about it. Okay, so, got the Ultimate Rare. Are we actually gonna be able to get any other cards inside? I think we're about to find out. We're gonna switch to, is that Secrets of Eternity? Okay, well, we completed the Ultimate Rare Challenge. We're going to Number Hunters now, see if we can get a uh, epic Secret Rare. 
It was in the front of the pack last time, so we're gonna move it to the back. We got a battle cruiser, a photon lizard, uh, gimmick puppets, chronomalies, and nice. Uh, this is the Chaos Exceeds Comics Hero Legend Arthur. I like how it's a dude with a castle on his shoulder blades. Because, yes. Okay, cool. Cool card there. And uh, let's get into it. Now it's going to be Shadow Specters First Edition once again. I feel like we can make it happen. This is the pack. The baby raccoon is here. Got a yellow bellied Oni, a Bujingis, Malavoris, um, a purple Pyrotile. And a Kid Moto Dragon. We got the Charmander. That's pretty cool. Um, real cute looking card there. Nice, guys. Some cool packs inside, that's for sure. Uh, Mecha Fan of Beast, a Saber Hawk. Another Baby Raccoon and the Pump Princess is back once again. Uh, first edition, by the way. Remember, you guys, these are our first edition. Bring it back to Secrets of Eternity. Hopefully, we can pull something from this High Speed Riders. We got an Ultimate Rare, so I'm not complaining from here on out. But... See if we can make something else happen. Blaze Accelerator Void Expansion. That card looks kind of cool and crazy. And El Shadal Wendingo. Oh, this is cool. This is uh, was reprinted recently in the Shadal Structure deck um, as a common. Now seeing it as the super rare first edition, I believe first printing. Uh, very cool to see. Wow. And this is going to be the Wind Shadal Fusion. It's kind of funny to see how the Shadals and the Invoked Monsters are based off Attribute, and they're both fusions. Makes sense why those decks work well together. All right, High Speed Riders. Can we keep the flow? There's, I think there's a couple cards in here that are extreme value. Right, we'll see what happens. Psy Frame Gear, Cocoon, Speed Roid, Silent Wizard, Red Carpet. Yo yo, Stardust to Spark, Dragon. All right, side frame gear. Um, once again, in a compulse. Hey, compulse. Uh, but very cool to see the Stardust Spark Dragon, I believe. This guy's in the Dual Devastator. I always forget exactly what Stardust is sparking about, but uh, pretty cool to see it from the High Speed Riders. All right, you guys, this is the final pack of Destiny. He's not here right now, but he's with us in our hearts. Give it to us. Kaiba! Cross Souls. There is some truly epic value in Cross Souls. You guys, can we make it happen? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Fluffles, super heavy samurai. I love how all these packs have super heavy. Uh, Phantom Griffin. We got a Fright Fur. And the No Baby, no way! Minolce, Pudding says, the Chocolate. This is the card, check it out. What? We actually got it. I, I'm like, I'm, I, I think. I think this is extreme value. No way. The godliness, it's crazy. Two level five, it's the, it's the, it's the quarantine, the, the, the godly quarantine pool. The Yu-Gi-Oh gods are with us today on our quarantine, so hopefully all you guys are safe. All right, here we go. Two level five earth monsters. You can also exceed some of this card by using a rank four or lower Madolce exceeds monster as material. So that's the, that's the chocolate on top right there. Um, so here we go. Once per turn, target a Medolce monster in the grave, shuffled on the deck. While this card has Medolce Pudding Sis as um, material, uh, you and your graveyard is shuffled into your main deck. You can detach one Exceeds material from this card to special summon a Medolce monster from your deck in attack position or face down defense. Absolute insanity. You know when a card is special summoning its archetype from the deck. It's going to be crazy shenanigans. That's crazy, you guys. That is, I'm almost 100% sure the most valuable card in the set. Absolute insanity for this video. The Magician Girls, the Quarantine, and the, the godly Yu-Gi-Oh gods watching over us. Absolute insanity. So again, you guys, got some cool, got a cool structure deck for this video. I don't know if we completed the $60 value, uh, but it's nice to see all these different cards here. So, uh, but yeah, you guys, let us know in the comments below what you guys think. It's nice to see an Ultimate Rare, again with the Ultra there. You're seeing all these different archetypes, the structure deck from the DDDs. Very cool, you guys. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the content. That was pretty epic hype at the end there. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Stay tuned for more quarantine videos, but hopefully we get back in the shop to get you guys a new video soon. And see you on Lucky, signing out.